Hey guys, I'm making a quick tutorial on the topic of clubs since it's something that a lot of people ask about and honestly I'm no expert in this game though I've had uh, good luck I guess I could say with other profiles. This is probably my, my newest profile and I'm just building it up. I love this game as I mentioned to most of you. Uh, but I want to talk about clubs because I want you guys to enjoy the game, but I want you to understand it so that you can enjoy it better. So I'm hoping that this can help you maybe see something you hadn't seen before. And please, by all means, I'm posting this on Facebook. So comment on the post. And if there's something that you could share, that's the whole idea behind having a clan and having a Facebook page for the clan and what have you. So uh, for the gorillas, I'm making this. Um, to kind of just walk through these clubs and this is really aimed towards beginners but you'd be surprised there's a lot of things that I learned on a daily basis and I've been playing for a couple of years now so um, real quick I'm going to go into the club section and as you see right now because we're still um, starting out we have uh, only two bags to choose from once you get into master level one you'll be able to open all five of the clubs club bags rather and this allows you to pick a, a variety a variation of of clubs obviously um, one of the players ed mentioned to me that he had chosen his clubs based on uh, distance and that will only help you if it's a par five uh, uh, game and you need distance but really you're going to get your distance from the first two clubs these two guys right here your driver and your wood it's really where you're going to get your distance from then your long and short irons are where you're really going to um, work on precision right so accuracy that those are the two most important now i'll be honest with you uh, conservatively 75 percent of the games will go into a shootout most of the time the games are way more than 50 percent of your games are going in going going to go into shootout and that's a conservative comment and so you're going to want to make sure that your wood is also as accurate as possible now once you get into tour seven and tour really tour eight your wood should really be your guardian why because of the backspin you're going to you need a lot of backspin in shootouts, you're going to have um, par threes, obviously, and they're going to require you to drop the ball and have it stop as much as possible. So as you can see, the backspin on the Guardian um, is at um, is at 82% or an, a level 82 where the backspin, in comparison to the Sniper, for example, um, level 7, you've got a backspin of 46. So obviously, you can pull the ball back a lot more with the guardian so level uh, tour eight and i would say tour seven but mainly tour eight and up you're gonna really need to use the guardian so that's a club that when it when it goes into the new club section um, selection and you can upgrade it try to upgrade it a little bit as you start rolling into the higher tours the sniper is the um most accurate club you're gonna have right now um, but as I can, you know, as, as I'm mentioning, um, the accuracy is at a hundred. However, your power isn't that great. Your top spin isn't that great. And your back spin isn't that great. So the beast of all beasts, um, on the clubs, um, is the cataclysm right now. The accuracy is not as good as the sniper because it's only a level three. But you're going to go into, as as you progress in, the, in these games, um, as, as these clubs rather uh, begin to go up in rank or, or you, 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 you're able to upgrade them, the Cataclysm is the, the dog of all dogs as far as the wood. And the Apocalypse is the number one club in the drivers, which I have at level one. Um, but again, going back, Grizzly. Grizzly is, if you look at the info on Grizzly, you're going to see that the accuracy is almost at 100, even at a level 4. So that's a very, very good long iron. However, look at your backspin. It's only a 40, where, for example, your backbone, compared to the Grizzly, has a 56. The Saturn, 
sorry, the Saturn has a backspin of 71. So that's where it starts to get tricky. And that's why I mentioned to everybody, if you could please just contribute to our um, Gorilla Farm uh, getting clan points, it's going to help us a great deal. We're going to be able to, um, right now we're at number one. That's awesome. And we're way ahead of everybody. But we really do need to, um, you know, help out and get all those once you get to that level where you've got all those bags unlocked the game's just going to become more fun your clubs are going to be more accurate so to be honest the most difficult part of this game is the beginning um i hope i explained some of this just go through your clubs and ask me if, if if i could help in any way please by all means um hornet just because it's it's an epic club like the kingfisher it could very well be an awesome club down the road but right now it's just not upgraded enough to make an impact. Accuracy in this one, for example, the Kingfisher, though it's an epic club, is actually less than your Hornet, which has an accuracy level of 91. And a ball guide at the bottom, as you can see, let me move this out of the way, as you can see, a 3.2. Ball guide is also very, very important, especially for your short drives um, when you're trying to get the ball into the hole and you're not quite on the green because you want that ball guide to be as long as possible uh, because the further back you have the ball the more accurate your shot's going to be the less it's impacted by the wind i hope that makes sense if you have a question regarding that because that's very important i'll repeat it the further back in other words the closer you have the the ball guide the what we call the the bullseye the more accurate your club is going to be so obviously in order for you to be able to reach visually the club, the better ball guide you have, the better chance you have of dropping that ball. So that's very, very key, very important. That's why for me, a club that I must have for a wedge is the Firefly. Why? Because compared to other clubs, for example, the, the down in one has an accuracy level of 89. But if you see the ball guide at the bottom, there's no ball guide. Look at the ball guide from a level five Firefly has a 4.1 almost i think the max is five so that ball guy is going to become extremely important and, and very instrumental in, in getting balls that are not quite on the green um you know in for a in for a drop okay thanks for watching thanks for taking the time to look at this if i could answer any questions by all means please please ask me comment write me on messenger on the facebook or on the game all right. Good luck, guys. Have fun. Bye.